Hello, hello everyone, Tishina Lynette, your favorite holistic business coach. And as you hop on here, give me a wave, a hi, hello, let me know what city, state or country you are watching me from. Hashtag replay if you watch it later, no matter what venue. And I've been super, super busy, but there are a lot of health topics this month to go through and give you guys information as your favorite naturopath. That's the role that I'm dealing with today as well as being certified in nutrition and many other things. So today we're going to talk about something very, very personal to me, National Stroke Month. So how can we embrace prevention and support recovery with nature? Um, it's really, really personal for me because I've lost two people recently. Um, my cousin closest in age with me last year, right? And so super, super serious. Um, I also have a good friend who actually, um, a co-worker and friend in Mexico, and we were at a facility, and the day before um, she ended up going to the hospital, she said she didn't feel right. She went to the emergency room. She said it felt something mental, right? And she also, then the next day, said something in her arm. And she was going to go to work. And me and another manager were like, no, if there's something wrong with you, you're passing this work on to someone else. You got promoted. Um, you've been here for three days. We can handle it. Um, and that manager drove her back to her city. She went to the hospital. But in the meantime, she did suffer a stroke. And she ended up being in a coma for three months. Um, she recovered. She's back to work. But she's not fully recovered. And then lastly, for me, um, if you've had deep conversations with me, uh, one of the reasons why I became a full-time entrepreneur was for my physical health. So yes, I want to change the world. Yes, I want to impact a billion lives. Yes, I want to expand um, with all of the business leadership and wellness skills that I have. But that's not the reason why I quit my job, y'all. I quit my job first and foremost for my spiritual health. Um, in order to be more present in my congregation and do more for my God. I quit my job for my emotional and mental health. In the fall, we had a lot of things going on and I we were missing three people out of my group. So I was working really, really hard. And I actually went to the emergency room twice in the fall. One time I went to the emergency room, I had stroke level high blood pressure. So high blood pressure from stress is something that I have had in the past and when my stress is out of control then it comes back usually i don't take medication for it anymore i control everything naturally and with diet um the other instances were unspecified antihistamine reactions which means i was having an allergic reaction to something i'm allergic to everything y'all and a lot of stuff doesn't bother me like i'm allergic to the metal in these earrings right i don't wear them all day and it won't bother me unless my stress levels are too high and then my body's like you got too much toxins and then my my like ears could get inflamed or i would what would happen is i would wake up and my mouth would be swollen or i would be swollen and that happened several times and so that was really why i quit my job was for my spiritual emotional mental and physical wealth and one saying that i've told people when i'm you know, um, talking to them about a lot of stress, like literally this past week, has been the most stressful <laughs> of the whole time because stuff is accumulating. Um, one thing that I will say to people, because I've had some people who obviously don't get or haven't had a conversation with me, like, oh, are you ready to get a real job now? And I will say, or, or, or do I regret? And I will say, being temporarily broke is better than a stroke. Because again, I've had family members experience it and been on the brink myself and could have kept going in that direction if I didn't take control of my health. So this is super, super personal to me, guys. So again, taking a holistic approach to health during American Stroke Month adds an extra layer of empowerment in our journey to prevent stroke and support overall wellness. So while working with your doctor, you can enhance your efforts with a holistic approach by including stress management, nutrition, and physical activity. So as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I offer scans. And when we do those scans, we are going to look at individually what your body needs to eat and what supplements for your specific body. So when we talk about the nutrition portion of it, it'll be individualized to you if you go ahead and get your scans. So... <clears throat> American Stroke Month 
is in May and raises awareness for stroke prevention and treatment. It is about educating people with stroke risk factors, symptoms, and prevention. It, sheds, it aims to shed light on stroke, a leading cause of disability and the fifth leading cause of death in the United States. So we can talk about the risk, contribute to spreading awareness and embrace practices that can minimize these risks. So how to celebrate, know the signs, learn the FAST acronym, face dropping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call 911. So in the case of my friend that I mentioned, she felt something in her brain and she actually felt something in her arm. We we're like, you have got to get to the hospital. You cannot go to work. Spread awareness. Share stroke prevention tips with your network. Like I'm doing right now, y'all. Healthy lifestyle. Promote exercise, a balanced diet, and stress management. So what are we going to do? Educate ourselves and others. Participate in local or virtual events if your time permits. Make a commitment to a healthy lifestyle. Again, I am here to help you as your favorite holistic business coach. If you don't have your scans, at least do it once. Individualize help. And I look up information like my last client that I did. She got 15 pages worth of information. Like, have fun. That'll, that'll last you a long, to di long time to digest that. Um, including what you specifically need for the ailments that you have. Natural ways to prevent stroke. Diet. Incorporate foods rich in omega-3s, fiber, and antioxidants. Think leafy green berries and nuts. Limiting sodium in processed food is also beneficial. So again, within that range of omegas and, fi and fiber and antioxidants, when you get your scan, you'll know the exact ones that you need for you. Exercise, regular physical activity helps maintain healthy blood pressure, weight, and overall well-being. Stress management, utilize relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, stretching, mindfulness, and the diffusion of essential oils to reduce stress levels. Lavender and frankincense oils can be particularly common. I got videos on all of those. Mindfulness, stretching, and deep breathing on my YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe to this afterwards and go check out some of the other free resources on there. Hydration. Drinking plenty of water is crucial for maintaining optimal health and preventing blood clots. Now, natural solutions to recover from a stroke. Recovery is deeply personal and varies significantly from one individual to another. Integrating natural solutions can support rehabilitation efforts. Definitely need emotional support, right? Because you're not as mobile as you used to be a lot of times. Um, so you want emotional support. Essential oils, of course, can help with that. Oils like peppermint can invigorate the senses and may assist in regaining mental clarity. Meanwhile, oils like lavender can promote relaxation and aid in stress management. Nutrition. A balanced diet rich in antioxidants can support the body's healing process. For recovery, you also want to in incorporate foods with anti-inflammatory properties. So again, when we meet in a one-on-one -on -one session for physical wellness, get your scan done, we can figure all those things out for you. Gentle exercise. As advised by healthcare professionals, gentle exercise can aid in the recovery process. This could be as simple as supervised walking or tailored physical therapy exercises. And then additional things you want to do afterwards, you may choose to stay connected. You can find an emotional support group with invaluable advice. Mindfulness, so practicing mindfulness can reduce stress and improve emotional well-being, aiding the recovery journey. Again, we talked about that before and after, so you can. I got some resources for that. Regular health screenings. Keep on top of your health with regular checkups to prevent further incidents. So through education, lifestyle changes, and the support of community, National Stroke Month highlights the importance of stroke awareness. Remember, prevention is key. That's, that's where I am, y'all, because again, my stress levels can cause high blood pressure, so I'm trying to prevent it. Having lost two close family members to it, and a close friend who had to recover from it. Um, make sure that you are looking for support and recovery. 
Integrating natural practices under professional guidance can support healing on all fronts. Thank you guys for joining me. And again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon with some other topics. There's so many made topics. And it's the 10th and I'm just doing my first one. So see you guys soon. Bye.